Hello, welcome to day 23. Uh, we're here today, we're looking at the tile work that finished up. Um, they have finished the floors, finished the backsplash, uh, and so Doug and I are here to kind of look at that, decide if there's any changes we want to make. And then we're also trying to make a decision on the grout for the backsplash, um, as well as the carpet. So you can see, they have laid the tile. Um, this was eight by 42 inch uh, porcelain wood look tile. Super excited with how this came out and how it looked and how it also matches up with the paint color and the base. Um, just house is completely taking on uh, a different feel and a different chapter, which is exactly what we were hoping for. Um, you can see the cabinets painted with the subway tile that we have here. Um, we're actually looking at our two grout samples. This was the only one that we couldn't pick the other day because the countertops were covered and we really wanted to see how the grout was gonna look up against um, the counters. So Doug and I came here today to be able to do that so that we would, uh, I'd be able to text Jose and tell him you know, what we were thinking there. These are super duper helpful, I wanted to say. Um, typically when you're at the store, all they have are those paper ones, um, and you're, it's super hard to match up or actually place between the tiles. So most tile layers carry around their own plastic sample like this. Um, I was able to get one sent to me, so now I have that, which I'm super excited about. Uh, but it's, it's really helpful to be able to have these and kind of set them out and step back and lay out. So we wanted to match this up with the countertop. Um, up against the counter, I tend to like uh, the one on the right, which is called DeLorean Gray a little bit more. Um, but as we step back and we're looking, the pewter color actually matches up quite nicely with the kind of charcoal on the cabinets. And if you kind of step back and look from far away, there's a, that dark edging on the interior portion of the tile, and so we want to be able to see a little bit of grout and for it to look darker as you step back, which leads us then down the path of going with the darker pewter one. So that's what we're thinking. If you come on down the hall here, again, all this tile has been done. We put tile into uh, areas where we had carpet before. And you can see a lovely Apache tile has come to life in the laundry room. Um, really excited because again, I wanted to do something fun and funky in here uh, because it's a laundry room and we want to make it fun and, and uh, bring a little bit of life in here. Uh, we also spent a pretty considerable amount of time talking to the tile layer about how far we wanted to space the tiles out. Um, because you have a choice with all these fun spacers, you can go uh, 3 30 seconds, uh, a sixteenth, an eighth, a quarter, you know, to space them out. The thing to keep in mind, and if this is something you might want to think about when you're choosing a tile and what kind of grout lines you want, um, it's typically the manufacturers on the box, not only will they do a recommendation of how you should lay it. Here the recommendation from the manufacturer was to do in thirds. Um, sometimes like the subway tile, it was a half. But the edging of the tile a lot of times has like a little bit of a slope and it's not completely squared off. And so Jose was really good about explaining to us, you know, you're gonna wanna go with at least an eighth of an inch on the grout here, even though I wanted to go closer, um, because the tile is not is not absolutely perfectly square. It kind of dips down and curves down a little bit, and so he said if you if you leave a little bit more space for the grout, you're not going to tend to feel that as much as if you put them close together. So, just something to keep in mind. Again, day 23. Tomorrow they're going to come in. They're going to grout everything. Uh, and start painting outside. Start painting on uh, the outside, and Doug is gonna probably install a toilet tomorrow. <laughs> and then today we were also, oh, we got our carpet samples, so we were laying those out to try and come up with a color. 
Um, and then we're gonna go and buy the light fixtures for the bathroom. So thanks for joining us, seeing our progress here. We're super excited with how quick this is transformed and we will talk to you guys soon. Take care.